Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with our matcha fight. Just one fight for you before we go to professionals. We're going to start with just one fight. We're going to start with one fight, one amateur fight before we go to the professionals. All right. Are you guys ready for this one? Yes, yes. Sorry for the delay. We are now starting. We are now starting. We're just sorting out something. Okay, fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Tylam Hoffman. And his opponent, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Pumelo Sayisi. Just house rules, guys. No smoking inside. There are three exits uh, uh, here. So, yeah, if you want to smoke outside. Introducing the boxers, hiding out of the red corner, wearing red and white trunks. Let's welcome Tylum Hoffman and his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, blue and white trunks. Let's welcome Pumelo Sayisi. Second round, round number
Seconds out. Round number two. Second round, round number three and the last round, touch gloves.
seconds out. Around number four. It's the last round. Gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. And your winner by two one decision is
set days. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, one two, three. I'll one, take, two, I'll two, take louder. anchor, okay? Louder, louder. One, two, can you hear me? One, two, fine. One, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two.
Ladies and gentlemen, we're moving along to the second fight. A match about uh, fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Spamanda. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Matwa Khandile. Well, we've, we had Boxing Friday night at Hope Street on the Maxine Boxing Promotions event. We've got some amateur fighters boxing tonight. I want to welcome my host commentating with me tonight, Lucy. You're looking forward to the boxing? Oh, yes. I'm looking forward to a great moment, eh? It's going to be interesting. I believe it's your first time commentating. And believe me, you're going to be a superstar. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope that uh, this opens more, you know, because I love boxing. Boxing is something that, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm always feeling like I'm the one in the ring. So now being on the other side, you know, commenting, it's marvelous. It's just very good. Wonderful. Uh, we've got in the blue in the, in, in, in the blue corner, we have Makwan Randile. And then we have in the red corner, Sipandla Damezi. These are amateur fighters obviously getting involved from an amateur level and this is just a stepping stone into the professional ranks and uh, it's wonderful to see that this type of amateur boxing but they're ready to go let's see what happens well let's see what we get here again seconds out round number well both boys let's see, let's see what comes out here. obviously fighting in the red is Damezi from a southpaw uh, angle and an orthodox is uh, Makwan Randile he's just leading off with some jabs at the moment and uh, just feeling each other out uh, good jab caught there by Makwan Randile Lucy you will see the boxing in the red in the, in the red uh, Damezi he's, he's a well compacted fighter you know, he's, he's, his foundation is strong. And uh, the other fighter is obviously boxing from the outside, Mako And uh, I, I just feel that uh, our, our fighter in the, in the blue, Mako should work off his jab more. I think so as well. Because sometimes he's, he's losing a bit of balance when he's in his punches. You know, he should um, get his feet on the ground properly. You know, in boxing, the jab leads the way to many things. And, uh, well, good right hand there from uh, Makwarandile there. Damezi felt that. Another another good one from Makwarandile. A good left hand there. Now he's working off his jab a lot more. Obviously, Damezi needs to punch more. Oh, big left hand there from Damezi. And this is the beauty of amateur boxing, you know. They, they don't come out there to knock each other out. This is more of an exhibition fight. And you can see in the way they're fighting. I see the gloves are a bit loose from uh, Damezi. And he needs to go to the natural corner, uh, neutral corner. That's right, they're just going to the head. Yeah. And the gloves come loose again. And this is ob obviously hindering Damezi. Oh, good right hand there. And the, 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 that glove is definitely loose. And it could cause a cut eye or something. And the referee needs to have a look at that. Obviously, Damezi coming with a lot of more blows now to the body and head. Mm -hmm. 
Makarandili felt that. Oh, big right hand, big left hook. Big left hook from Dabezi. And the referee stopped that fight now due to the glove. You know, I'm sure they should have some tape here. They're actually taping that glove with a with a uh, plastic glove. Absolutely. You know, it, there you get some tape. There, there's some tape coming there now. I see this Damez, he's come out a lot more in vigor in this round. You know, you know, he had, he had that uh, uh, in, in the first part of, 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 of that round, in the first round, he had the ascendancy to go forward and now he's allowing the opponent to come at him and he should he should go forward that's the best form of attack sometimes well here we go let's see if that lace holds big that's the end of the second round uh this fight at this stage is very even you know with demezi coming through better in the second round The more cleaner, the more cleaner punches. Sorry. Absolutely, ab absolutely. The second round. I think the second round will give a lot of more round action. Uh, that club is definitely giving a problem. As the referee calls them close. Makorandile, he needs to work off that jab a lot more. And obviously, Damezi is trying to evade it to come with his left hooks and right hooks. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Demezi, uh, I can see he's a very strong fighter. See how he goes through the body and the head? Just a fooling around, uh, you know, it shouldn't be in amateur boxing. Shouldn't be in amateur boxing. I think they've got some decent tape now. I think they've got some decent tape now. very frustrating for both fighters you know they want to get on they get cold now standing around not boxing but let's hope our problems are solved now but you know boxing brought to you by Alain Chizungu from Maxine Boxing Promotions out of Hope Street Cape Town it's all about to start in the professional boxing very, very shortly. And the Mezzi still want to work the body. You know, there's a saying, you kill the body, the head will roll. Demezi is. He, he changes from orthodox to southpaw, southpaw to orthodox, 
So the fighter never knows what angles he should use. Makorandili must definitely throw more jabs. He's, he's actually going to walk into a blow from, from this young man from the red corner, Damezi. Showboating big time now. And that's confidence, Lucy. That's confidence. That is absolute confidence. Big right hand there from Damezi. Body he works the body well. A well polished fighter, he's, he's well trained. You know, he slips nicely, just the fooling around. I'm not for you know, <laughs> you know, I've been in this game since 1966. That's it, he works off a jab, uh, Makorandele followed up. He's got to work off the jab. Oh. Uh, 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 we used to call that the bolo punch in cricket when you throw the round wheelhouse, right hand. The Messi threw one of those. Yeah. 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 I, I, I must tell you that, that, that the Messi well-rounded fighter but he must stop fooling around you know in the amateur boxing you shouldn't get that but he loves the crowd and you can see he's enjoying himself and uh, he's making the best of it and he's definitely leaning on points second out round number three There's only one Muhammad Ali that could do that. What a great fighter he was. Well, back to the boxing. Demezi immediately on the attack. And like I said, uh, Makur and Dili must work off his jab a lot more. And he catches him. What well, good, good left hook uppercuts to the body there. Just the defense of Damezi is a lot to be desired. There, the, he works the jab very well. A good left hook there by Makorandile from the blue corner. Oh, big left hook there from Damezi. Just didn't follow it up. Yeah, Demezi is, is, is really high at the moment and he's catching uh, Makorandili. He wants to make slip and then make him pay. Missed there himself. He works the body, Demezi. Ah, Demezi is playing with him. He's absolutely playing with him. He slips inside. He makes him pay. Picks him up with the uppercut. Left hook. <coughs> nice compact fighter, Demezi. But Makurandiri works the jab. He catches him every time. But now he wants to fool around. He shouldn't be fooling around. He needs to get uh, going with the fight. Ah, no, Demezi is playing with him. Absolutely playing with him. There's a good jab again from Makurandile. Look at that. Every time he catches him with a jab. But he's, he just drops his hands when he jabs. Some nice body blows there by Demezi. I'm sure Makurandile felt that. Nice right hand there again. Just needs to, Damesi needs to throw more combinations. Yes. 
absolutely. As we end off, uh, I think this is the third round now, Lucy. I must say both fighters are very fit. Both fighters are very fit. Very good, very good, very good. Third round, really powerful. Let's, let's get yeah. some more, um, you know, good fights and punches, especially from the Messi, because he needs to work a lot in this competition. He needs to work a lot from his combinations and needs to make sure that, you know, he throws the punches in exact time. Because one of the things both of them are having as an issue is timing in the punches. Yeah, you know, yeah. they just want to throw punches, but they can't calculate yeah, their punches. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's this a, is uh, the fourth one of the things. But otherwise, round, very powerful moment. Hand. And let's see what the round four is kept. Uh, I've got the Messi head on points. I've got him head on points. As we enter the final round, Great goes immediately the to the body. Big right, big it's right to Adam. There. Very good body blows there by the Messi. He's a very good compact fighter, this de Messi. Very good, very good. But uh, again, this, the guy with the tall reach, Makarandile, mu mustn't fight with him. Mm -hmm. He must throw his jabs and keep him away. Because that's where de Messi wants to be on the inside. He's opting in to defending instead of attacking. And while he's defending, Damezi is still coming. You know, so that's, he's gonna be tired and is gonna get this. You see, Makorandile is fighting the fight that Damezi wants him to fight. Damezi wants him on the inside. And that's where he plays with him. Very good, very good. Yeah, great. This is something to, you know, really cheer on. Great fight for an uh, appetizer for the professional boxing. Oh, yeah. Now to come. <laughs> really great, really great. It was good to see it, you know. Um, but what do you think? What do you think is going to get this? Oh, without a doubt, the red corner. The red corner, yeah. yeah. By and precision, I basically, because the punches and the uh, his punches are much better than, you know, Makorandile. Just got the cleaner blows, and uh, he was the aggressor. So the judges look at these things. Yes. But one thing I like is there is they were not very aggressive to each other. You know, sometimes you see fighters who are very aggressive in the ring, but this was clean, beautiful. You know. Good amateur boxing. Good amateur boxing. Good amateur nice to boxing. see. Nice to watch. The well, world. unfortunately, there must be a winner and loser. Well, unfortunately, yes. And Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. And your winner by 3 0 decision is. Ray! <laughs> you know, Lucy, I've been around since 1966. Mm -hmm. I've been a former. Amateur referee, amateur boxer, wow, and uh, professional fighter, wow. So, and now I'm a promoter, and uh, it's only my civil duty to help my co-promoter, uh, Alan Shajunga, yes. when he asked me to commentate. No, it's a, you know, you are such an inspiration to me right now. You know, such an inspiration to me, and. Uh, Seeing that you have already ju just accepted to do this with me, it's a great honor. I really appreciate that. Really Ab appreciate that. Absolutely, you know, boxing is a leveler. And boxing, all colors, denominations come together. Yes. And, and we rejoice the sport of boxing. That's uh, true. And that's the beauty of boxing. We've got our ring announcer, Shepard, getting ready to do his magic. Well, boxing's about to begin on the Maxine Friday night show at Hope Street in Cape Town. 
I have my co-commentator Lucy with me. Lucy, boxing going to start now, the real thing. Professional yes. boxing. Now is the real thing. Now is the professional. What everybody has been waiting for, you know. We want to see a real fight. This is the Western Cape uh, Boxing Championship. And who is going to take the title? Who is going to represent the Western Cape in, 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 in such competitions, you know? So, what are your opinions on this today? Is, are you talking, referring to the main fight? Yes. With Jamie Webb and uh, P1 Moyoyo. Uh-huh. Uh, I think Jamie Webb should take that one. However, I've heard that Moyoyo has really got better punching power than Jamie Webb. Yes. And uh, I think Moyoyo uh, told one of the guys earlier on he's going to win, predicted to win on a knockout. Wow. Against Jamie Webb. Wow. Big prediction. Jamie Webb has been up against the best. Wow. You know, he fought for the South African title last year against Kupman at Empress Palace. So, Jamie Webb has been up against the best. Wow, we're expecting something really exciting in this match. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think Jamie Webb will have too much uh, gunpowder for him. But let's see, what, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, let's, let's see wait what's going to happen. But you know, we've got a good crowd going here tonight at uh, Hope Street, Maxine Boxing Promotions, promoter Elaine Chizunga. He's put a nice show on in Cape Town. crowd Lucy at, at Hope Street tonight nice cold winters night in Cape Town everybody coming out to watch boxing yes this again is gonna get hotter you know it's an environment where everything that was cold gets hotter boxing makes everything hot <laughs> we expect so much yeah, in this um, this moment this professional boxing today this very night in Cape Town Central City you know, great things are yet to come. And we expect, like you watching us from wherever you are, just know that something is going to happen here. And it, you will never, never see the Western Cape boxing again the same way you've seen that before. Absolutely. And boxing, as a promoter myself, you know, Cape Town has uh, built up a great relationship with Boxing South Africa in their regrow and transform program. Cape Town Boxing is rising. Uh, there's a number of promoters, Mr. Savas Savas from Insane, mm -hmm. myself, Jackie Bryce from Jackie Bryce Boxing Promotions, Elaine Chizunga. We're keeping boxing alive in Cape Town. That is what needs to be done. For some time, people think, but we're thinking about that boxing is, is, is something that is dangerous for the community. But you know, I really honor and I really appreciate what actually uh, uh, Coach Alan Chizunga has been doing in the community as well. You know, he trains young people that he takes from the streets and he gives them boxing education. And they become people that are respected in their communities. You know, this is something that we all in this community have to honor and respect. And take boxing not anymore as a, you know, a problematic uh, 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 that is taking people, uh, putting them in a different situation, but something that can take people, young people especially, from the drugs, from the uh, 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 crim crimes, you know, criminality, and they can be in an environment where they can express themselves, you know, and build something for the community. That's what it's all about, Lucy. You know, Alain Chizungu has King's Boxing Jump in, in Woodstock. He's doing wonderful work amongst the youth. Yes, uh, Woodstock yes. has always been known as the criminal activities that carry on mm -hmm. on big scale and Elaine has transformed uh, the sport of boxing amongst these young criminals or, or, or wannabe criminals 
and uh, I just take my hat off to him. Yes, really good, uh, really, really good. So, what is going to happen next? The professional fight, the fight that everybody else is waiting. Well, there's more fights, more interesting fights coming up, but this one is opening more. It's opening the expectations that even if this passes, something better is coming. Something more powerful is coming. So, what, what did you have to say about, because I heard you spoke, spoke more about uh, Moyoyo, but I want you to speak, speak a little bit also about Jamie Webb, because, you know, there's no much about him. You know, people don't really know much about him. J Jamie Webb is, is, is a great student of the game of boxing. He's a very fit young man. You see it in the definition on his body. He's well defined. Uh, he's an awesome young man. He's, he's, he upholds the true spirit of boxing in, in professional boxing. He is an example to young kids looking up to him this evening in this building. Yes. And uh, Jamie Webb has come off two losses now and he needs to get back on track. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, and uh, we all here to support him as well as we're supporting all the other fighters. You know, we are fighting. This, this, this is what we call fight for change. You know, it's a fight for change. Not change to bad, but change to good. You know, we want the change to come in this uh, uh, Western Cape, in Cape Town precisely, but not through other things, but through boxing. Boxing is the platform that we're using to bring the change that Cape Town is looking for, that Cape Town is waiting for, you know, and these are the young men, uh, 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 and oh no, by the way, we do have one fight of two ladies, do you know that? Yes, I saw that on the card, I saw that on the card, I'm looking forward to that, and uh, you know, about three years ago, Lucy, I was not a man for female boxing. Mm. Today, the females have changed me. Wow. And uh, it's wonderful to see the females training in a male environment. I have utmost respect for them. They train just as hard as the males and the men. And uh, wonderful to see my fighter, the champion, Dusheni, win the other night against Mushai from Gauteng. Wow. Uh, she's the new Cape uh, champion and brighter things, bigger things uh, is predicted for her. Yes, this is really good. And through this platform, through the King Boxing Gym, you know, a lot of young girls that were uh, bullied in school, a lot of young girls that were thinking that they have no future and uh, you know they were just living like anybody else you know but they, they had a passion to get into boxing they had a passion to fight but they did not know how but through this platform that Alex Zungu has brought to us you know a lot of those young ladies now can defend themselves you know they can now defend themselves they can now be able to fight for what they believe is right you know and that's the platform and that's the platform. I think Alain, I think Shepard is now calling the fighters into the ring.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is Maxim Boxing Promotions. We're presenting boxing tournament. It is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. And your fight supervisor is Mr. Mzoli Tempi. And your ringside doctor is Dr. Eni. Are you guys ready for the first fight? Let's call them. This next bout, it is a flyweight division, and it's a female bout over four rounds. Let's call the boxers fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Okushi T. Don't forget to share the link. This tournament is live on YouTube. So please do share the link. It's Maxim Africa. Please do share. We are live on YouTube. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome you. She'll be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Okushem T.
Well, eventually, the boxers have come into the ring, Miti, Zizo, Ukushle Miti, Ukushle Miti. And here, opponent, she'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Zizo Scotty. Well, this is a fight for change, and we have uh <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is a four round. Flyweight bout, sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. Introducing your officials for this bout. Your judges, Judge Mr. Kolesani Gintamo, Mr. Oscar Knowles, Mr. Frederick Van der Roos, and your timekeeper, Mr. Rob Venus. The referee in charge for this bout is Mrs. Rachel Gango. Introducing the boxers. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold and black trunks. She weighed in 50.30 kilograms, making his, her first fight tonight as a pro. Let's give her a warm welcome. She is Chinese. Up push And her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, weighed in 49.45 kilograms, making her first fight as a pro tonight. Let's give her a warm welcome. She is Zizzo Scotty Boxers. Well, two minutes, Mira. Well, the boxing has started on uh, the Maxine boxing promotion show. We have two fighters making their debut, Miti and uh, Scotty. Scotty wearing the white trunks and Miti wearing the gold and black trunks, making a debut. Looking forward to this, Luz? Yes, definitely. I'm also looking forward to this. But what are your expectancies? What do you, what you think it was coming out on this fight? But early to say, I will give you in 20 seconds when I view these fighters. <laughs> Scotty working well off a jab. And Miti, very powerful fighter, you can see. Yes, Miti is really powerful. She's always there. But also, you know, um, Zizo also is coming. He doesn't want to get a punch alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Scotty uh, trying to work off the back foot off a jab. But the more powerful fighter is Mati. Big right hand there from Mati. Very relaxed, having a first pro fight. Looks like a very strong young lady. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, really big looks. right hand again there from Mati. Much at this stage, I can tell you she's the powerful puncher as well. As they clinch. Scotty should work off a jab. She should really yes, again. Yes, there yes. you go. Very I just called it. Mm -hmm. But she should double the jab. Big right hand there nice. from Miti. Just pushes her down, Scotty. The referee should uh, intervene there. Shows her pushing her down. Scotty should work off a jab, but Matiti is, Ma nice. is doing nice it. Nice from Zizo. Some big punches coming home here from both of them, eh? Yes, actually, Mati has more powerful punches than Zizo. Absolutely, yeah. powerful punches. Just the heads up in the, in the air a little bit. She should learn to keep her chin down. But Very nice hand speed. Very nice hand speed. She's a natural fighter, this Lucy. Well, is Mati. That's, it. that's true, that's very true. And she has a good style, by the way. You know, she fights like a man. 
I told you earlier one, I fell in love with female boxing and I give the first round to Mati. Fantastic move. Very good but, first but round. A great, a, a, oh, I see a little mark on the eye of Scotty already. The lump on the eye is starting to swell from the heavier blows from Mati. Mm. Let's see what round number two is, is kept for us, you know. I'm really very positive with this fight. Absolutely. And the ladies are showing that they mean it. You know, they mean it when they're on the ring. You know, they're not there just to show that they are ladies who are fighting for change, but they mean it, the fight. The, this is boxing brought to you by Maxine Boxing Promotions. Promoter Alan Junger, Hope Street, Cape Town, cold winter's night. And uh, this is our first part of the evening. And uh, this young lady, Mati, she I can see help. a bright future for her. Yes, definitely, definitely. She has really a bright future and something, uh, you know, let's see what the run number two is kept for us. It's brought to you by Maxim Boxing Promotion. Scotty must look off that jab. You know, I know her trainer very, very well, Zola Korti. I'm sure he's telling her, there you go. She's definitely working off that jab to try and keep Mati away from her. Yes. Mati, Mati's a bit wild now. Oh, big, big punches coming from Scotty. Big punches. Scotty is now attacking. She's not, not fighting not. on the back foot anymore. Yes. That's what he's supposed to be doing since the beginning. Absolutely. You know, she's got to work off her jab. A different Scotty, this coming out the second round. Now you can see that Nti is a bit uncomfortable now. Absolutely, she's taken that, that fight away from her. Mm. There you go. Scotty definitely throwing the ball combinations. Keep works off a jab, catches her every time. And very and good. Nti wants good. to overpower her. Nti is trying to bring back the, you know, the a big right hand from both <laughs> fighters. What a great fight to start this evening on wow. Maxine Boxing Promotions. Very nice. Scotty works off that jab. Mati needs to get close. Some lovely punches coming from Scotty in this round. What an awesome fight to open up. The Maxine Boxing Promotions card. Very good, very good jab, very good jab from T. But looks now, now both of them are in the same level. You know, you got the crowd on their feet, yeah. Yes, yes. They, they, they really getting involved in this fight because it's an awesome fight Fantastic. to open up the card. Definitely, Scotty's round. This is Scotty's round, definitely, yes. This is Scott's round. But let's see what the third round has kept for us. Both of them are determined to get this out, you know. And uh, let's see what the third round has kept for us on both sides. You know, Matisse's corner needs to work very hard on her now and tell her what you did in the first round, you need to do again. Yes, because she now started showing a bit of uh, uh, uncomfortability when, uh, you know, Scotty was now bringing the punches to her. Correct, you know, correct. Getting to the body, you know. And correct. I was showing like, oh, what's going on here, you know. But now, then it goes to the end of the second round, she was trying to bring back the loudness on her. But let's see, let's see what more can come out from both of them. But, you know, like I said to you, Zola Koti, the, the trainer the in the time. corner, he's been around a long time and, uh, his advice is paying off and Scotty yes, needs to listen to him. That's true. That's very true. That's very true. As I said, Mati, Mati needs to close the range on Scotty. And let's see if she does that. Yeah, she's trying to work on the inside. Mm -hmm. That left eye of Scotty's is really starting to swell now. Now you can see him. Mati starting to throw more combinations um, but she's trying to knock her out and that's going to be a problem. Yeah, that's going to be a problem because uh, you know Zalukoti, oh, she's also making it, she's and also coming it. Her defense you know? she's thrown aboard. She doesn't want to surrender. But Scottish needs to throw the jab 
and did what she did in the second round. But I must say, Matiti, Matit is coming back very strong. What an awesome fight, eh? What an awesome fight, yes. They're hammering each other from the first bout. And I do believe the public out there is enjoying this fight just as much as us brought to you by Maxine Boxing Promotions. But in terms of energy, there's something that I can see. There's more energy now from the red, uh, uh, the red side, you know. Because MT now is showing like she's a bit tired. I don't know. It's, it's her corner spoke to her, definitely. But she needs to throw a bit more punches. A nice one-two combination from a T. Drops her hands a little bit. But in time... Very nice, very nice. Another straight jab there. A wild right hand thrown by Mati. You can see both fighters are taking a bit of strain now. Mm -hmm. Going into ending the third round. Nice right hand. Another right hand from Mati. Big right hands coming from Mati now. And definitely a round for Mati. And I've got Mati up two to one. Very and nice. That eye is round. really starting to swell now badly for Scotty. Yeah. No, Putting no, ice. No, the first round was so powerful, it was too much for her. You know? Because she started the first round very, very decisive. That she wanted it. You know? The precision and the punches, you know, the combinations, it was straight at her face. It was really good. You know, I, I'm now a bit skeptical of the fact that she is not as powerful as it was in the beginning. And now the red corner is bringing the power up, you know, that's the thing. If she keeps that, you know, the energy that she had in the beginning, she might win this match. You know, Lucy, when you don't listen to your corner, the second time. You could see the difference when she came out the second round. This is the fourth. When Zola caught he told her to work off a jab. She yes. didn't do it. She's fighting this gold's fight. Shouldn't happen. She should fight her own fight. That's well, it, that's let's it. see what happens. It can go either way. Who wants it most, we'll soon see. There, Scotty works off the jab again. She needs, Scotty needs to keep pumping. There you go. Oh, that glance really right good, hand really missed good. there from a T. Big bowler there from Mati again. But now Mati is trying to find you know, that, that best opportunity to, to get the punch straight on her face, you know. And she's taking time while now the other side is she's bringing the punches with, you know, precision or not, but she's trying to bring it out. Big right hand there again from Mati. Definitely the more power puncher. Scotty needs to work off her jab. Because the jab sets up everything. Yes. Sets up for the right hand to come through. Bah, nice left hook there from Scotty. But she key, there you go, she's pumping the jab out nicely. You, you know, throughout this bout, I must say the females have not worked the body at all. If Scotty wants to win this fight, she needs to end strong. She's definitely the aggressor now. There needs a bit more of aggressivity, I and think. And she needs this round. Yes. I don't know why Matiti is going back when she fought on the attack. And obviously that jab is working for Scotty all the time. Big right hand there, again from Matiti. Matiti is like always finding the best opportunity to punch. That's what she's looking for. You know, very good, very good, very good. What a fight, what a fight. Very good. What a fight to open tonight's card on Maxine Boxing Promotions. To be honest, how do you see this fight? Well, how do you call it? Well, I like the fight. I like the fight, but the, the, there's only one thing that I noticed, you know, from both sides, is that one side, like for example, T, she's looking, she's, she's taking more time in trying to find the spot 
you know, while, you know, uh, Zeus is, she is finding, she doesn't care where the punch whoa, goes. Whoa, she just wants to throw it. If it gets there, it gets there. You know, so that's what is happening here. Yeah. But in terms of Beautiful technique boxing. and precision, in, in the punches and you know you can see that this person has much time of training and can and listen to what they tell her to do i, I believe uh, uh, um, t has that thing i couldn't agree more with you you know when you're a young fighter what you learn in the gym you throw out you're a bunch of nerves when you get into that ring and uh, in due time i i predict the future for both these girls in boxing uh, I, I'm going to go on a limb and call it a draw. I, I feel that is uh, a good result to both these fighters. But it wouldn't surprise me if, if uh, Mati won. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised as well if Mati won because she's fighting with style. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. And we've got the results as seen by our three ringside judges. Judge Kolesani Quintamo scored the fight 39 to 39. Judge Oscar Knowles scored the fight 38 to 38. Judge Frederick van der Roos scored the fight 39 to 37. And the result, it's a draw! I called it. I called it and uh, I thought that wow, what was the right result this for this fight yeah it's a fair Prince result Lala. it's a fair result you wow, know both of them were boxing. very good really impressive of their fights the way that they think they, they, they um, uh, explored in the ring you know um, having it a draw it's a fair yeah it's no a scotty came out well in rounds two and four uh, f sorry one and four and then mati came back in rounds two and three but Great fight, awesome first fight on the Maxine boxing card tonight with Alain Sejungu. Wow. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? We've got more fights, more fights. Are we gonna move along to the next fight? Are you guys ready? Yes, yes. Just to remind you that this is Maxim Boxing Promotions and our promoter Alan Chisungu. It is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa under the supervision of Mr. Mzoli Tembi. Now we're going to the next fight, which is a lightweight division over four rounds. We're waiting for the referee to come inside and then we'll go ahead.
Just share the link. We are live on YouTube on Maxim Africa. Let's call the fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome the yellow Fula. Can the boxers hear me when I'm calling them? Can they hear me? Are you guys hearing me when I'm calling you? All right, we're waiting for Luyolo Mvula. Please. And his, op and his opponent, he'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Nazura Nazir. Well, we are at Maxine Boxing Promotions, Hope Street, Cape Town, Friday night. As I've said before, Nice cold winter night. We've got a very, very exciting fighter making his debut tonight. Coming out of the red corner, Nazrula Nazir versus Mavula, Luyondo Mayula. Wow, wow, wow. We are really expecting some great, great fights. You know, having Nazir on one corner and Mula in the other corner. You know, both of them are good fighters, but I've heard a lot about Nazir, you know. Ladies so let's see what's going to happen here. Well, you know what I always say? We do talking outside the ring the in the newspapers, on social Hiding media. But now's the time. Wearing True. A green With this square jungle <laughs> talks. 
He weighed in 59.70 kilograms. I believe he's making his debut making tonight. Making his first fight tonight and, uh, as a pro. I believe he had quite a good Ladies amateur and record. Let's give him a warm and welcome. I'm really looking hey, forward hey, to Nazir. I don't know Yellow. much about Mayula. Fula. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing lime and black trunks, he weighed in 60.5 kilograms. Also making his first fight tonight as a pro. Fighting out of Anuva Park, let's give him a warm welcome. He is untouchable, Nazura Nazi. Boxers. Well. We're about to start. Uh, Shepard Ayanti has done his job. Mr. Marshall calls them in the center. <laughs> Let's walk around one and scout for us. You know, I'm really positive and really excited to see Nazir for everything that people have been talking about him. You know, all the news is that people say that he was really good in his amateur know. level. Now this is his first fight as a professional. You know, let's see what let's he hope has. Both of them. Let's hope both of them well as they start a boxing career and round one has just started this is maximum maxim box boxing promotion it is promoted or oh, uh founded by mr alan chizungu right here in cape town city boxers will fill themselves out in the first round a nice jab there from nazir Mayula, you can see again, is the more compact fighter. His foundation is a lot more steady. And uh, you can see N Nazir is the boxer. Nazir, Na Nazir is trying to get the control. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get a control of the situation. You know, while Mula is trying to get in. Yeah, he wants to dictate the ring. Yes. And, he, and he's doing it by jabbing. He's doing it. Like I said, that's the main punch in the business. Mm -hmm. That's true. He, he works off that jab. Mayula does that now. You know, they're feeling each other out in the first round. You won't see them coming out blazing guns. Four rounds, three minutes. It's quite a long time. I think this round is more of trying to understand each other's, you know, level and feelings. Bam. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Mm. They call the him the untouchable more. Nazir. Mayula slipping the punches. Nazir needs to double up on the jab. That's what he needs to do. Right hand missed there by Mayula. Lovely jabs there from Nazir. Very good for Mueller. Very good. Just a bit off balance when he throws that jab is uh, Nazir. He needs to balance himself. He lifts that front leg up, the left leg. And he overreaches. You see, this is what happens. That's why his chin was up in the air. And Mayula caught him with a flush jab. But now he's letting Mayula come close to him. That's the thing. You know. The more he tries to get back, Mayula is coming forth, you know. So he needs to also get a little bit more closer if he really wants to get Mayula down. Well, Mayula is trying to do that, but he's just hunting too much upstairs. When I say upstairs, to the head. Yes. Early on, I said to you in the prelim fight, you kill the body, the head will roll. Mm -hmm. And that's what Nazir needs to do. Work off that jab, in and out, control the ring. But he needs to double up on the jab. And I gave him that round from a mere perspective of, of using the jab a lot more and being more the aggressor. Yes. I'm, I'm sure his corner, Mavula's corner, will talk hard to him and say, you've lost this first round, according to me, I might add. You know, I think also there's one thing that I've, I can I can see by the fight. You see that, you know, Mule is more a kind of an aggressive fighter. He wants to get to the board. He wants to get where the adversary is. 
but now Nazir is more than a technique side. He's trying to find the best spot. He's trying to calculate his time. You know, try to control his breath and save more time because he knows there's a there's more rounds coming up and he, do, he doesn't want to waste all the energy on the first round. He's definitely pacing Second himself time. and we'll probably see a lot of more action in this round as uh, they get ready. Nazir is brightly round quick out of the corner. And Mr. Marshall says, let's box. So now, now you can see he's coming. Now you can see Nazir is now trying to get the punches in. He just keeps working off the jab, which is 100% correct. Big right hand there. The gum shields went out of the mouth. Really good. Really good for Mueller. Oh, the referee intervenes. And uh, from that jab, Nazir was throwing. Muyula's gum shields fell out of his mouth. I can see that this round is gonna is really getting much exciting. It's gonna build up now. Because now Nazir wants the body. Because he works lovely off that jab. Snap right hand there, another jab by Nazir. Double jab. Definitely getting the ascendancy now. Now he wants the body. That's good. That's really cool. That's very good. Ayanda just needs to throw a lot of more punches. He's not throwing enough leather. That's the problem. He's slipping it, but he's not making him pay. But the thing is how fast the punches are coming. That's the thing. Because he's is bringing. Oh, know? big left hook. Big left hook caught. And another big really one. Good. Pan Nazir. Big left hook that was caught. Followed up. Holy, Miyula is holding. The referee will warn. This is really exciting. This is getting, this is getting hot. Yeah, no, definitely. I can't see this fight going the distance. Nazir is definitely overpowering Mayula now. This is what I was, I, I, I was seeing in the first round because Nazir was trying to keep himself and understand the, the adversary. He How is he coming? Himself. You know? So let me now show him in the second round. But you have just caught him a big right hand now as well. But so follows that up by Nazir. I think it's over. This, he, I, he, I hope he can keep himself until the third round, but... He, Nazir mustn't try and knock him out. He must take his time. He, they, he's off balance. Followed up, big right hand. That just misses. Nazir must be very, very careful. He needs to be oh, very, very big careful. Left hook from Nazir. Nazir is he wants the body now. He wants to get through now. That's he's it. just going a bit he overboard. Wants to finish it. But he's his big right hand. He wants to finish it. What a fight! What a fight! Nazir must control he himself. He wants to finish it. He, he must control himself. Time. He's not he's going too wild. And he must be careful that he doesn't get caught with a haymaker. Now you got aggressive, eh? <laughs> he's, he's punching his Nazir. And this is the problem. Because Muyula has just come back. And this is inexperience. Wow. From, from, wow. from, from, from Nazir. Round two. Yes. No, he won the round. He won the round. But he's punching himself out. And that could be a problem in round three and four. You can see how heavy he's breathing. Remember that's the first really, round he was relaxed? Yeah, that's the thing. He was very very much technical, you know. And when but he caught the, getting aggressive. When he caught Mayula, he thought he's going to end the fight. Mm. But this young man is showing great courage. He is really resilient. He's showing great <laughs> courage. But in the last 10 minutes, like in the last 10 seconds, he was trying to come back, but then the referee had out. to, you know, I hope this Third but, but round is going to be best. Nazir did side. enough. Round Nazir did three. enough to win that round. But an exciting third round waits on the Maxine boxing promotions. But the thing with Nazir is that the punches were so precise that it could even just, you know, um, reduce the power or the energy from his uh, adversary. 
you know, and keep on the next rounds, keep winning and keep punching. You know, well, unless now Mayula keeps. No, re, 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 well, I tell you, Mayula knows I can. Uh, if I'm fit and I've trained hard enough, I can definitely win this fight. Watch Mayula now. As he's got a lot of more confidence, as he's the aggressor now. Yes. He shows that he doesn't want to lose this. Nazir you know? must just go back to what he was doing best jab, move. Where, whether he's got the feet for it, I don't know. Because he's definitely not the same fighter that came out in round two. He, he needs to stick to his game plan. Yeah, he needs to stick on his game plan. But then that excitement of be willing to win the match, so it's also pushing him to play like his adversary. There you go, he's doing it right. He's jabbing, working off a jab. Good left hook there. Very wild blows at the moment. He needs to keep jabbing. Because Mayula has smelled blood. And he, and he can see yes. this kid is tiring. He is doing his best. He doesn't want to give up. Mayula's corner should talk to him. And he should work the body a lot more. Big, beautiful combinations there from Mayula. Beautiful combinations. I think if Mayula has to win this, he has to go more to the body. He's got to go more to the body. Yes, more I agree to with the you. Body. He can't just chase the head all the time. Because Nazir has long jabs. And he's good with his jabs. You know, yeah. if he's far from him, his jabs are going always to get him. He needs to get close to the body. You know, in boxing terms, we say you are busy gassing. <laughs> and that's Nazir. He's busy gassing. Yes. Big right hand there. But he's just going to the head. He needs to go to the body. Nazim showing a lot of fighting spirit again. You know, fighters have got to come into the ring. You can't knock fighters out the first round. Mayula definitely coming back. Nazim must be careful. He's got to keep working that jab. And don't, there you go, good left hook there. Mayela needs to work if he wants to win this fight. Nice left Mayula. hook there again from uh, Nazir. He must be careful he doesn't punch himself out. Nice left hook, both of them caught each other. Very nice, very Nazir nice got hurt there. Nazir wow. was hurt there. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. I give this round to Mahila. Most definitely. I think, you know, both, both fighters are at the same level. Absolutely, they both are. Both fighters are at the same level. They're showing that they're here and they mean what they're doing. You know? I, they really I, want this. I'm just going to appeal to the uh, corner and the, the team of Nazir that uh, when you come to boxing, you got to make sure you fit. You can't knock fighters out in round one and two. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. Mahila is definitely showing that he's come back into this fight. And I like how, how calm he is. You know, even though he's getting off some punches, but you can this see is he is calm. And he's trying and to recompose himself and then get back in red. You know, which is really, really great. Well, let's see what the, these, if he wants it, He's gonna gonna have to fetch it. He's gonna have to fetch it. Let's see what round four has kept for us. As the fourth and final round breaks up. Let's see if he listens to his corner. Works off a jab, but he gets caught with a jab as well. Oh there. Mahila is going to the body now. His corner. Mr. Jongi has definitely spoken to him. Well, the hungry of the two will soon show. This is the last round. The round of decision. Let's see what this both fighters have kept for us for the last round. Nazir needs to work if he wants to win this fight. Mavula's coming back all the time. 
is the more is the aggressor big jab there from Mayula again just a bit open when he threw that left hook and he wants to knock the his father out now and always remember mm -hmm. a knockout comes on its own yes you, that's you can't force a knockout oh another left hook very there good. by Mahila very good from Mayula he's setting him up for the right hand here it comes it's gonna come He's getting caught every time with that jab of Mahila now. Mahila, Mahila needs to work. Naziz showing fighting spirit as he comes and throws the jab. Right hand over the top. Big right hook to the body. Very good. <coughs> what a fight here at Hope Street on Maxine Boxing Promotions Gym. This is brought to you by... Alan this Zugu. could be another draw, uh, Luz. This could be another draw. Yeah, this could be another draw. But if it has to be some one person to win, you know, who do you think would Na get this? Nazir is very wild. But that is due to his... He's very, very tired. And the punches aren't coming normally now and naturally. Mahela needs to work. If he wants to take this fight to a draw, very good. Definitely winning this fight. Nazir needs to throw that jab. He's not done enough, I'm afraid, as we close in round four. Very wild is Nazir. The left hook, but it's a one punch fight. He gets tagged. He gets tagged as well with a right hand from Mahili. you got to throw punches in bunches. Yeah. But if you don't have the gas, you cannot do it. What a fight. Very good fight. Powerful round four. And uh, let's see what the judges have to say about it. I think it's a draw. I, I think it's a draw. I called the first one. If I must give it to somebody, I will give it to Mahila. Me too, I believe the same. You know, but I also like the style of fight that um, Nazir had brought to the ring. You know, he's also a very good fighter. And uh, if this going to draw, powerful decision. Whoa, what a fight, what a fight, what a fight, what a fight, what a war. Let's give both boxers a big round of applause. That respect. Well, it's in the judges' hands now. Yeah, it's in judges' hands now. And I love the sign of uh, fair play that they have showed here. Even though they fought together, but they still know that we are brothers. This is the level of boxing. This is what boxing does this is a beautiful sport mm -hmm. and it's been practiced for many many years and this is the leveler you can talk outside the ring after the fight yes the boys will have a cool ring fantastic and talk about a great fight they had that is what makes the boxing boxing but it's very close very close to goal but i went on a limp and i said a draw but if you pushed me for another 10 bucks, I would say Mahila <laughs> on points. <laughs> the corner, Jongi is confident. He's confident. Nazir needs to go back home. He needs to train. Uh, it's possible that he's overtrained even, if you look at his definition. But his, his debut fight, a lot of nerves, and that takes a lot of energy. Whoa, what a fight. This is the fi first fight as pros. Uh, what a fight, what a fight. Let's give them a big round of applause. Wow. And we've got the results as seen by our judges. Judge Oscar Knowles scored the fight. 
Judge Tion Duarte scored the fight 38 to 38. Judge Olesani Ndonga Gintamo uh, 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 scored the fight 37 to 40. And it's a draw! Fantastic. Well, Lucy, two out of two for us tonight. Not great. bad going. Yes. What a great fight. These wow, youngsters wow, need to wow, go back wow, to wow. the drawing board. They are what very talented. Fight. Very talented fighters. And again, there is a really great talent. future for them wow. in this uh, Western what Cape, you know, boxing uh, association. You know, it's something that we all aspire to see them representing South Africa uh, uh, in the larger uh, 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 rings, you know, in the international uh, rings. No, absolutely. You know, it's it's like what I said, you know, boxing in general, a young man comes into the sport of boxing, uh, there's, there's a lot of things you need to do. Talk the talk, you've got to walk the walk. Yes, that's it. I'm afraid Nazir's corner just to remind you that there's needs to make sure that he's fit. You by he, he was the better fighter, without a doubt. And your but is Mr. again, I'm saying boxing's a leveler. The fitter man came back is Dr. in rounds three and four. And this tournament is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. And your, fight, your tournament supervisor is Mr. Mzoli Tempi. Don't forget to share the link. We are live on YouTube channel. It's Maxim Africa. Are you guys ready for the next fight? Are you ready? All right. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Oh, okay, I'll give you another chance. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Oh, on this side. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Last side. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Only one person. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Uh, uh. All right. We're going to move along to the next fight. I'm glad you are enjoying boxing tonight. It's a beautiful boxing. Look. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm waiting for the referee. <laughs> All right. This next fight, it is a super middleweight bout. It's over four rounds. Let's call the boxers. He'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Twain Dunzo. And his opponent, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Lukangale Cham Cham.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super middleweight bout. Over four rounds, it is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. Introducing your officials for this bout. Judge Mr. Clifford Mbelu. Judge Mr. Errol Marshall. Judge Mr. Sipo Dongeni. And your timekeeper is Mr. Rob Fenius. And your referee in charge of this bout is Mr. Oscar Knowles. Introducing the boxers. Fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black trunks. He weighed in 75.5 kilograms. With a fight record of two wins. One by the way of knockout from Zimbabwe, but based in Cape Town. Let's welcome Dwayne Danzo! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and white trunks, he weighed in 73.60 kilograms. Fighting out of the Western Cape with a fight record of three fights, three losses. And he is known as the Black Stallion. Let's welcome Lukangale Chum Chum Boxers. Well, this is the super middle, super middleweight fight over four rounds. Dwayne Dodzo from Zimbabwe against Lukangile Jam Jam. David and Goliath, I would say, Lucy. <laughs> well, so interesting the way you say that, David and, Gol uh, David and Goliath. <laughs> well, let's see, because David uh, killed Goliath in the ring. So let's see if that sim 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 uh, scenario uh, is going to uh, happen here. Second I happen to know young Dozo, uh, very oh, well cool. compacted fighter. I have not seen much of Jam Jam. But I will soon tell you after 20 seconds. But then Jam Jam has advantage because his tall, his jam is, you know, uh, 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 really, really long, you know. So he needs to just to be able to get the right, uh, right spot to, to knock, you know. He's definitely working off the jab because of his height. But uh, he hasn't got bad hand speed. He's... Working off the jab because of his length, he doesn't want Dotso to come on the inside. You know, when I see Dotso, I'm, I'm looking at um, Mike Tyson. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, he is fighting, you know, a bit like him. You know, he's trying to bring a bit of his style. You and you've got the hitman Hearns in there. That's the thing. Now he, he, he's got someone that also is good. Because even yeah, though he's Dozo. tall, his advantage, but he also shows good. Dozo just needs to get inside. Uh, there's no ways he can beat him on the outside. He needs to get inside and set him up with a big left hook or right hand. But Jam Jam's... Hey, there, I just told... I just called it. I just called it. I just called it. Wow, wow, and, wow. Uh, he caught him with a big left hook. Big Wow. One. He walked right into it. Ah, he's, he's really looking bewildered. Now, Dozo must just relax. He mustn't look for the knockout. He must just let it come naturally. That is really great what he just did here. Because he can get tagged himself as well. Mm -hmm. Well, Dozo must just relax. And Jump Jump just needs to keep the jab going. He needs to be a bit far from him because yeah. if he's too close, he's going to take advantage because he's shorter than him. And he can get, can, can get right below, you know what I mean? Overhand right there by Dozo. That just hit the tempo mark. A big right hand there again. Combinations, really great combinations. Obviously Dozo, he's very relaxed. Another right hand. He's going to get tagged again. I don't, he's I, very I don't think on his feet. he's going to make it to the end. I I'm not sure he's going to make it. No, it's, <laughs> he might make this round, but... Uh, not, not the second. I, I, I don't think he's going to make the second round, you're right. Because Donzo is coming up with a good technique. He is timely, you know, conscious. He's time conscious. 
and also he is profiting correct, correct. he's too tall ah uh, he's hurt and now. he's getting he's right hurt. down right this fight down. might not make it right another down. right hand another right hand the referee oscar Knowles is 100 percent right Dozo must just be careful. We must. They, I told you he might make it. I told you he might make it. Yeah, oh. he's a warrior from Zimbabwe. He's young. Dwayne Dozo is a warrior. He's come to fight. He's hungry. Yes, he's hungry for it. You know, he's very time time conscious. You know. He knows when to punch, and he's taking the advantage because he's shorter. So, and his jabs are, sh are also short. He needs to get close to his body and gets right down below his arms. And he can get when he gets his body, he can get his head as well. Well, this is the beauty. Early on, I spoke about boxing being a leveler. Mm. No matter how big you are, no matter how small you are, yes, no matter yes, how yes, fit yes. you are, second when round, you're in the ring, you get leveled up. But the, it's, a, it's a really great to watch the Ray Ray Don, 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 so you, is you, actually you, getting you, through. You get leveled up. Uh, it doesn't really look like he wants to carry on. But uh, let's see if Jump Jump can come back. Dwayne Dodzo is very hungry. This is um, Western He's Cape. doing Zimbabwe proud tonight. Western Cape Championship. Dozo is just waiting for him to walk into a left hook or a right hook. Jump Jump's trying to wrestle now. He's trying to He's wrestle. He's not going to make it He hit him end. after the bell. He definitely hit him after the bell there. And the referee won't count for that. This is so much for I him. I don't think he wants to participate in this fight anymore. Oscar Knowles is asking him that. It's all over. It's over. It's, it's over. all over. It's over. It's all over. It's over. It's all over. Very happy, Dwayne Dozo. It's very, very happy. It is very, very over. happy. It is over. We could see that. Uh, Jump Jump will not make it to the end. Young superstar for the future. I've always Dozo liked him. really good. I've always liked him as a fighter. And uh, he will do well in the professional boxing game. Quite promising. Quite promising. Quite promising young man, Dondo. You know, we look forward to something more powerful and exciting from his side in the future. Uh, absolutely. I'm looking forward to him wow. taking wow. Uh, a lot of more stuff don't competition. Blink, blink, don't but don't throw it away from Jump Jump. He tried his right? best Fox yes. with his length, but wow. he was just overpowered wow. on the night. Wow. I think he's just able to go back and train a bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. And your winner in 46 seconds into the second round by knockout is Dwayne Dunzo!
Ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you that this is Maxim Boxing Promotions under the promoter, Mr. Alan Chisungu. Just to correct on the, on the YouTube channel, it is Maxim Boxing Africa, that is the YouTube channel. Please do share it so that people can enjoy this beautiful boxing tonight. Are you guys ready for the next fight? Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna give the results now. Who makes the loudest noise? Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Make sure you're ready, make sure you're ready, make sure you're ready. Okay, I see people are preparing. I'm gonna catch you by surprise. Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight? Are you guys enjoying boxing tonight out there? Wow, I can't give the results now. I'll give the results next round. Right, we're just swapping the uh, officials. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is over six rounds and it's a featherweight division.
calling the boxers. He'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Adi Kajampo. His opponent, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Spusiso Moyake. This is over six rounds. It's a featherweight division. Introducing your officials for this bout. Our judges, Mrs. Rachel Gamgo, Mr. Kolisani Bintamo, Mr. Frederick Van der Ross, and your timekeeper is Mr. Rob Fenyas. Your referee is Mr. Sipo Ndongeni. Introducing the boxers, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and red trunks, he weighed in 56.50 kilograms, fighting out of DRC Congo based in the Western Cape, with one fight, one win, let's welcome Adi. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing a white trunks, he weighed in 56.75 kilograms, 
all the way from Nebeja in the Eastern Cape. Let's give him a warm welcome in Cape Town. He is Mustaso Moyake Boxers. So, welcome again to Maxim Boxing Promotions. Second song. Round number one. Adi Katumba in the red corner and Sibusisa Mukaye in the blue corner. We've got Sibusisa coming out with some strong jabs, controlling the fight from the center of the ring. Both guys seeming to look very confident just looking to feel each other out at this stage. Super so Cisa uh, starting to establish himself now with that jab. Still controlling from the center of the ring. With uh, Adi trying to make his way, fighting his way forward into the center of the ring. Both guys just seeming to feel each other out right now. Adi trained by uh, Chris Magishu from the Ring Boxing Club. We can always expect big things from them. We haven't seen anything from uh, Adi in the red corner. Okay, there comes Adi with a little reply and hook. Yeah, we can see that Ari Asuli is going to be coming with a really strong punches, really strong chaps. You know. It looks like both guys are still trying to establish themselves in this round, to establish who's going to take this round. It seems that Sibu Siso is working his way on the ropes at the moment. He has been using that jab to work his way on the inside. But uh, Ari not making it easy for him. Ari now taking the center of the ring. Working off the counters, seeming to have success there with the right hand and the left hook. By the way, that was a good combination from uh, Ardi, you know. Yeah, Ardi seems to be looking to focus a bit more on timing. Mm -hmm. um, seems to be working nice and low and he might be looking to, to land a lot of those hooks. Whereas uh, you see Sibu Siso, he's trying to work his way from the jabs, dancing his way around the ring. Looks like he's looking to make, he's looking for Sibu Siso to make a mistake. That, that is. He's making a mistake. That's what he's looking for. He's trying to control his ground. It's been an interesting night, so, night of fights so far. Uh, later on, we've got Jamie Weapons Web for the Western Cape title. He will be fighting Apio, Apiwe Moyoyo. So, interesting things still underway. End of round number one. Very good round number one, by the way. It shows both, um, both fighters are really looking into getting, you know, the, as the, the, the most points as possible, you know. Uh, and Ardi has shown that he wants to own the ground, you know, that's seems really... Like fairly, seems like a fairly even fight, fairly even scored fight. Uh, you can't see who the clear victor is right now, the judges have their, their jobs cut out for them. Um, Ardi working a lot of the ropes, he was so towards the end of the round, attacking the center of the ring. Uh, but then what do you think about the second round? Should we expect a little bit more of aggressivity, you know, from both sides? Or more of Ardi instead of uh, Sibu Siso? It's hard to say in a six-round fight. Um, a six-round fight is kind of a distance. So 
Round the number guys two. Have seen, they, they've telegraphed and they've, they've checked out the opponents right now in the first round. So the introduction is made. So right now we'll probably be starting to see the fight get a bit more interesting. And uh, what goes, guys, both guys starting to plant their feet a bit more. Um, throwing a bit more combinations. Um, Randy starting off with Hardy taking the center of the ring again. Sibusiso looking to place the counter shots. Ah, Sibusiso just walked into a big jab over there. And Adi is still looking for entry. That's what he's looking for. That's what he wants. Yeah, Adi just keeping that pressure, not allowing Sibusiso uh, to fight the fight that he wants. Sibusiso also looking to... I'd say establish a bit of range, get the distance going. That's why he's moving now. Okay? So it looks like Sibu Siso is going to have to get that distance in order for him to win this fight. Whereas uh, Ardi is trying to look to get in on the inside. Ardi's got nice counters going. This is really good because Musiso is trying always to make sure that Ardi doesn't get too close to him. Because Ardi is looking for his body. Here we see the fight getting a bit thicker. Getting into the thick of the fight now. The introductions are made and right now we can see the guys are starting to look like they want to win. There was a low blow over there. Low blow by Ardi. But they will carry on fighting over there. Sibusiso establishing himself again there with the jabs to start the intro. And Adi with good head movement looking for a counter at the moment. Adi seems to be the one in the lead. Seems to be the one in control of the fight. Uh, what's your thoughts there, Lucy? Yes. This is really great. We can see how Adi is always trying to make sure he gets in. But then, uh, 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 you know, Sibusiso also is making sure that I don't want you close to me. And he uses his jabs to ensure that there is distance from him. You know, and it's quite interesting how actually he's making it because I like the fact that he uses a good technique to push him away, but at the same time, he is bringing his jabs towards him. Must be, must be a hard thing to step into the ring after lots of training. Um, not having followed through the plan of action that you were planning to do in, in training. So right now we see Adi, plans maybe not going his way, he's taking a lot of shots. He's holding on over there. So, so like Adi is holding on over there, Adi on the attack over there. Adi has got a bit more aggressive. Adi definitely took that round. Uh, looking to finish a fight towards the end of the round over there, but the bell just caught up with him. But looking at the way that uh, Ori is fighting, do you think this fight is going to go till the sixth round? It looks like he's looking to make it an early night. Uh, Ori over there in the red corner. There was massive success over there towards the end of the second round. So let's see what the fourth round holds. I think the question to ask more is what would Sibu Siso do to stay in the fight? And yes, that's uh, really one question. Both boxes have been hit hunting dramatically throughout the entire fight. There hasn't been much body shots that's been landing. Yeah, 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 Both yes. Been swinging to the fence and going for it. Seconds out. But it seems like uh, Adi is the one that's been having a bit more success. He's been able to walk his opponent down and land down, the combinations nice and smoothly. You know, by the way, Sobosiso came all the way from Eastern Cape to come and represent Eastern Cape here for this, you know. So uh, we hope he makes proud his, uh, his, his land. That's, that's very important. Yeah, there's definitely two levels over here. There's definitely two levels. And I think uh, Adi is starting to show Sibu Siso what the level is and where he should have been at. Adi seems to be the more experienced boxer with more tricks up his sleeve. Yes, because, uh, but by the way, Sibu Siso, this is the first time. He just, got, he just happened to catch Sibu Siso again. It's his so first time, Sibu Siso, his first time. So it's like, this is the first fight for a professional level. Yeah. So we've got to understand a little bit um, if he's getting too much pressure from, uh, from Ardi. Yeah, the, you know, you don't get points in this sport for being tough. 
you only get points for being trained. That's it. The fight. So I give respect to Sibusiso, but there's not much points that can be given to him. Right now, he needs to find a way to stay in this. He had some success with his jab, and I think that might be the way to that. But Adi seems to be very relentless. He smelled blood at the moment, and he's going in for that KO. He wants nice it. Body shots over there with the left. Adi really wants it. And he doesn't want to waste time. Adi just needs to kick. He just needs to box smartly right now, not press too far forward. Um, and try punching himself out. He's looking for that left hook. And Audi again. Audi no, again with right. this combination. Left, right, oh. left, right. And it is over. It is over. And it is over. And it is it for Sibu Siso. I think they would call the ringside doctor in for that one. And it is over. I was smelling that this is not going to the sixth level, to the sixth round. You know? Because of the way Ardy was fighting, he was make, he was about to make sure that this doesn't go needed to the third round. Yeah, Ardy definitely had smart boxing over there. He took his time in picking his shots, and when he smelled blood in his opponent, he just pounced and he went for the KO. Yeah, yeah, Good yeah. Good job to Ardy. Great job, uh, great job. Took it step by step. You can see he stuck to the game plan and got the W. The ringside doctor just having a check there at Cebu uh, Ciso to make sure that everything is okay. Uh, boxing is a good spectacle, but at the end of the day, safety is the most important thing. said don't blink we've got boxing tonight let's give both boxers a big round of applause Fight. What a fight. Let's face this side. Let's face TV. We are on TV. Let's face this side. We are on TV. Hello, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. What a fight. What a fight. And your winner in one minute, 40 seconds into round three by knockout. Ati! Yes, yes, yes. So wonderful to see how Ardi won this match. It's incredible. I love his technique. I love his uh, authenticity when he's in the ring. And I love how aggressive he gets when he feels that he does it the time to knock the adversary out. Yeah, it must be. It must be a good feeling indeed when a plan comes together, when all the hard work has come to a certain point. And that point being the win, the winner being you at the end of the day. So well done again to Adi on a brilliant knockout victory. Um, and well done to his team also for the hard work they put in. You can see it's definitely paid off. Still a few exciting fights on the card for the night. Crowd seems to be pretty picked up and pretty packed over here. Uh, once again, Maxim Boxing Promotions putting on a good, Ladies good, good promotion over here. Boxing this seems to be back Maxim in the Western Cape. And I'm the promoter, Mr. Alan Chisungu. It is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. 
and your tournament supervisor is Mr. Mzoli Tempi, and your ringside doctor is Dr. Eni, and it is live on a YouTube channel of Maxim Boxing. It is Maxim Boxing Africa. Now we are going to the heavyweight. Are you guys ready? The big ones. Now let's call the first opponent. Let's welcome, he'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Jose Kadima. Big heavyweight fight under the way. Chosi Katima versus Veron Bella Mbembo. Four rounds of heavyweight action. And his opponent. He'll be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Veron Bella Bembo. Bring you the chosen one, Big Jeff. Now, play I got some fresh game. Once again, Maxim Boxing Kids Promotions, Maxim Boxing Promotions. Um, Alan's put together a good tournament. What's on schedule for the year? What do you think Western Cape Boxing can expect for the rest of the year? Well, I'm very positive. I'm very positive that uh, there's more year to come. You know, there's more year to come. Alan Chizungu has been doing a great job in the community. And uh, currently, he is one of the most popular boxing promoters in our community, you know, in Cape Town. And, and, and there is more to come. There's more more projects, Ladies more boxing coming from uh, Maxim Boxing Promotions. Division. Introducing your officials for this bout. Our judges, it is a Mr. Oscar Knowles, Mr. Errol Marshall, Mr. Clifford Mbelu, and your timekeeper is Mr. Rob Fenyas. And your referee is Mr. Dion Duarte. Introducing the boxers. Fighting out of the red corner. Wearing a black trunks. He weighed in 105.2 kilograms. Fighting out of DRC, but based in Guazulu Natal. Making his first fight tonight as a pro. Let's give him a warm welcome in Cape Town. He is Jose Kadima! And his opponent. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing a gray trunks, he weighed in 94.65 kilograms, with a professional record of one fight, one win, two losses, fighting out of DRC, but based in the Western Cape. Let's welcome Veron Bella Bembo! Boxers. Big heavyweight action underway. Maxim Boxing Promotions over here. This looks like it's going to be a war. Seconds out.
You can see the intensity in the eyes of both opponents. Four rounds of heavyweight action. Yes, that's true. That's very true. You can see how ready both of them are. You know, they're really expecting that uh, this moment uh, is going to be a decisive or uh, deciding moment for their career as a boxer as well. Because they're both the first time pro fighters. This is round one started. Very good, very good jabs, very good, very good punches from uh, um, Jose Kadima. He's showing that uh, his, uh, his presence needs to be felt. He wants to earn the ground. Yeah, no, no love lost with the introduction of that combo over there. As Mr. Duat regulates as the official. No love lost. Jose looking to get the timing together. It seems like a very powerful guy. Hasn't landed it cleanly yet, but seems to be getting the combinations going. Both guys seem to be very flat-footed. Letting you know that they, they're looking for the knockout. They're not looking to dance around the ring. <laughs> Both guys seem to get the hold over there. And Mr. Duarte breaking them for the hold. No, um, actually, jo Jose Kadima is showing more of a balance. Uh, you know, the way he's fighting. And he's very much calm, uh, uh, you know, compared to his adversary, you know. I think what both boxers need to do is just relax a little bit, start working off the jabs, and just fighting a bit more freely. When they're going to be looking for the knockouts, that's when you're going to see them just standing, looking at each other. And it actually tends to put more pressure on you as a boxer. So right now, you can see Jose coming forward, he's pressing for that knockout, he's taking a few big swings. He's got his opponent down over there. Well, the loss of balance, that's one thing that I can see from uh, uh, Veron. There's a loss of balance, there's no balance in his, uh, even his, uh, you know, his foot, um, foot skills. It's very, you can yeah. see that there's some issues there. Yeah, Jose looks like he's, he, wants to, he wants to go home early tonight. Um, Veron hasn't been able to establish himself yet in the fight. Veron really needs to keep his hands up and get a counter going. Move as if possible because there's no way he's going to be able to just take this punishment all day. This, if Veron continues to fight like this, I don't think he's going to make it to the, even the third round. Jose also just looking a lot more strong and ready at this weight then. Uh, he looks like he doesn't really want this. The way he's fighting, his technique is a bit out of, uh, out of hand. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's made any clear effort towards winning that round. He hasn't been able to establish his chair or clear game plan. So I hope for the best for the second round. Let's hope we see something big. Round number two. Jose taking a big stand over there. Where, uh, Veron seems to be heaving a bit heavily coming into that second round. Jose starting off with a big check hook. No boxers looking to establish a jab. And I think that's where Veron needs to be working right now. He needs to be looking to establish his jab. Yes. Again, looks like he needs to establish his jab as as, as, as as Jose came in with big combos on that one. The thing is that he's not finding the spot and that is making him a bit confused, you know. And Jose also has a lot of advantages, not just because he's a bit taller, but also the size and uh, he is more precise in his in his um, uh, punches. Veron just looking a little rough around the edges on that one. 
Um, I knew he's not going to gonna make it. And that is done. That is done. And that is done. You know. Good one there by Jose. Congratulations to Jose Kadima for this great achievement. Very good by knocking out. It didn't seem to be anything distinct that hit him. Yes, actually. Just a lack of training. And uh, looks like the superior boxer won. Yes, yes. It's always that. You know. Great moment to be watched here in uh, Cape Town City. This is the Western Cape Championship promoted by Maxim Boxing Promotion. Scorecards come in. No need to go to the scorecards for this one though. Yeah. <laughs> As the scorecards finally come in, the gloves are coming off. Looks like this is a clear victory for Jose Kadima. Very well done. He probably move on to his second fight, whereas for Varan Bella, it's back to the drawing board. That's really good. That's really great. And the judges have already presented their decision. Let's know who is the winner. It's always tough watching a heavyweight match knowing that one guy would fall. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. Wow. And your winner in one minute, nine seconds into round two. My knockout is Jesse Kadima. Once wow. again, well, well done to Josie Kadima. It's uh, really well done. The heavyweight fight, so plenty of fights to come here on Maxim Boxing Promotions. This is brought to you by uh, Maxim Boxing Promotion led by Mr. the coach Alan Chizungu here in uh, Cape Town City. So a couple of good fights that were happened to recap. What were your thoughts on Nasrul Nazir versus Luyolo Mvula? One thing is that, uh, you know, Nazir was more technical. He was more focused on the technique Ladies and, and trying to find a space. Catch weight over four rounds. Let's welcome the boxers. Fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Lutando Makubalo.
maybe let me do it again. Uh, yeah, let's welcome, he will be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Lutando Makubalo. Lutando. Lights, please, lights, please. I don't see Lutando is here. It's too dark. Let's welcome his opponent, Asavela Pita.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a four-round cash weight bout. Introducing the officials for this bout. Our judges, this is Mrs. Rachel Kamko, Mr. Kolesani Rintamo. As sorry, let me start over again. Mrs. Rachel Kamko, Mr. Oscar Knowles, and Mr. Errol Marshall. And your timekeeper is Mr. Rob Fenius. Your referee is Mr. Clifford Mbelu. Introducing the boxers. Fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing a blue and white trunks. He weighed in 47 kilograms. Making his first fight tonight as a pro. All the way from Nebeja in the Eastern Cape. Let's give him a warm welcome in Cape Town. He is Lutando Makubalo. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing a black and blue trunks. If weighed in 48.2 kilograms. Fighting out of Kaeli Chai in the Western Cape, making his first fight as a pro tonight. Let's give him a warm welcome. He is a Savela Pita. Boxers. Well, interesting. The smallest of smallest of men in the mini flyweight. Four rounds, Pita Zavella versus Lutandu Makubello from the beautiful city of Quebecha. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So what do you expect from this match? Um, well, you know, looking at uh, both fighters, they were how excited, especially the, you know, <laughs> on the red corner. <laughs> he is very excited. He's showing that I want to own this. What are your opinions about it? Yeah, granted. Well, let's see how Peter goes. These are the small men, but they say dynamite comes in small packages. That's true. Straight double J. And that is it. You just, Peter, you just confirmed your words. <laughs> Peter with a strong double jab. And he dropped him with a straight jab. Pretty good jab. Pretty good one. Makubala took the eight count. Peter is really pumped up now. But well relaxed, he's not going wild. He's going to set his man up again with that jab. It's like a stiff jab. Very, very stiff. Punches will come raining now. Oh, the fight is over. That's all over, Lucy. Wow. Like they say, the fans wow. are son. Wow. Peter Asavella wow. confidently stops Lutando. Wow. In round one. This is the time of Peter. Peter Asavella. This is the time of Peter Asavella. Remember that name. <laughs> I will remember that. I, I will to you, remember, remember that. In small packages. Wow. Wow. These jabs were so precise and powerful. Straight wow. to the point. A lovely debut to his pro career and uh, wow, a bright future. But uh, I must say to you, the opposition that he fought, you could see he wasn't very, very strong. Mm -hmm. But in all fairness, he came whoa, to box, whoa, whoa. but he was I beaten by a better you, man on the night. Said, wow, blink. if you blink, you're gonna miss the action. Uh, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. Yeah, confident young Peter Asavella and a dejected Lutandu Makubello. But, you know, as I said early on, boxing's a leveler. He'll come back. He'll come back. He will. He will. 
should just maybe go and walk a little bit more. Zola Koti, a very proud man, standing next to Peter. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, again, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. And your winner in 55 seconds into round one by knockout, Asafila Pita! This is so interesting that he was cheered very less in the beginning, but now he showed that he owns the ground. And everybody is in his, in his side now. Absolutely, yes. Well, we still have a couple of more fights on uh, the Maxine uh, Boxing Promotion Show. What an exciting show tonight. We've seen some big boys and we've seen some little men. And we've yes. seen a wonderful female fight tonight. You know, if we can just take you back to to Mati and Zizi Kotsi, what a fight. And it was a true reflection of the fight, being a draw. That's true, that's true. So far we have seen so much and we really appreciate the entertainment that uh, uh, Maxim Boxing Promotion, led by Alan Jizungu, has been bringing to us, you know, um, since we started uh, this competition. And it's wonderful for Cape Town boxing. You know, Luz, uh, Cape Town needs it. South African boxing needs it. And Africa boxing needs it. So we've seen a combination of, of fighters all over Africa tonight. Uh, wow, we're and, going and, and what a spectacle of boxing fights. tonight. Really, really you, some said, good don't fights. Blink. Don't blink. You're going to miss the action. We're going to the next bout. We're just waiting for the referee to come inside the ring. This is professional boxing, so we wait for the referee to be inside. Let's call the boxers. This next bout is a catch weight over four rounds. Let's call the boxers. Fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Blessing Mutero. And his opponent, he will be fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Justin Rockman.
This is a catch weight bout over four rounds. Introducing the officials for this bout, our judges, Mr. Dion Duarte, Mr. Clifford Mbelu, Mr. Sipo Ndongeni, and our timekeeper, Mr. Rob Fenius, and our referee, Mr. Oscar Knowles. Introducing the boxers, fighting out of the red corner, wearing a black and red trunks. He weighed in 74.85 kilograms, with a fight record of one win, no loss, from Zim, based in the Western Cape, Cape Town. Let's give him a warm welcome. He is Blessing Mutero. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red and black trunks. He weighed in 72 kilograms, with a fight record of one loss. And he is coming all the way from the Eastern Cape, Mkabeha. Let's give him a warm welcome in the Western Cape, Cape Town. He is Justin Rockman. Boxers. Well, this super middleweight fight, Blessing Metero versus Justin Rockman. If anything goes by, the East... The Eastern Cape boys have got a bit of a hunting tonight. Second to none. And uh, if I look at the conditioning of Rockman, from Second to out. Blessing, I think this could follow suit. Well, let's see what uh, the first round has kept for us. You know, I'm really positive um, on what I'm seeing here. But do you think that, uh, um, you know, uh, um, uh, Justin is going to sustain to the third stage at least you know because from my look it shows that um, you know blessing has more potential to win this fight you know this really looks like a WW uh, wrestling match uh, between these two fighters and you can see Rockman absolutely no footwork at all as a professional fighter and I'm being very straightforward when I say that in all due respects uh, swinging wildly uh, I think you should go to the amateur game in all due respects it's a bit harsh yeah it's, it's it's what it is that's we, what I see as well and that's what we see and uh, he shouldn't be in a professional ring to be honest with you however let's give him hope and see if he can come back and fight his way out of trouble against blessing I don't believe let's this see. fight will go the distance it looks more like uh, you put in a professional fighting with an amateur, you know, and uh, now a professional is struggling to fight with an amateur. <laughs> granted, granted. But referee Oscar Knowles is talking to them both now to say this is not a wrestling stage. It's we're not, we're stage. not on a WWE. We are on a WBO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> a right hand there by blessing. But Rockman's trying to give it his all. Swinging wildly, his head's down. He's not watching where he's punching. Well, this is just crazy. And, but uh, anyways, let's see what's happening. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Out of the ring boxing gym. Should just relax. And uh, both these fighters are really swinging wild like a boss. Well, honestly, I don't really see much of an excitement. I don't really feel much of an excitement for this, for this match, you know, because it looks like we're just watching, um, uh, you uh, know, uh, an adult and a baby fighting. It looks know. like two ladies slapping each other. <laughs> and, uh, however, let, let's concentrate on the boxing and maybe Rockman surprises us. You never know. You never know. Uh, blessing just needs... To, oh, Rockman caught him. A big right hand there. He needs a lot more of that. Blessing also not boxing. He's just trying to knock his opponent out. 
and uh, he's just got to relax and let the punches come naturally. Yeah, they both like, uh, both like a bit of technique and also a bit of, uh, you know, uh, calmness when they are preparing their punches because, you know, Blessing has all the potential to win this if only if he gets himself calm and he focuses on the body of the adversary because he has no power to sustain at least a very good combination, you know, uh, on his body, body face straight and is out. Absolutely, man. You know, not just a little, a lot of technique they're lacking, but uh, I, I definitely think that these fighters should just relax, do their best in the circumstances they find themselves in. I can't talk this fight good at all. Yeah. I really can't. After seeing a lot of exciting boxing tonight. Second time. And, uh, Not really an exciting thing to, so, to, to see. And, uh, absolutely. And, uh, but, Brown. for the sake of boxing, Number Rockman's two. come to fight, Blessings come to fight, and let's get it on. Fantastic. This is brought to you by Maxim Boxing Promotion, led by Alan Chizungu, right, right here in uh, Cape Town City. Seems the chair is stuck in the corner. There we go. Round number two. Blessings just got to relax and uh, let the punches come. With, without trying to wrestle the rock. You know, there's not much I can talk about Rockman because there's not really much there. <clears throat> much. There's not really much, as just you said. No you technique, know. like you've like you've said, and uh, well, let's see how the fight progresses. He turns around. Uh, I think blessings. Yeah, blessing. Going and that is right done. Now. And that is done. Uh, I don't think he's going to get up from there. He just needed a good combination straight to the body he's face. Sleeping. He's going to sleep back in the bus to Quebec as well. <laughs> and it's done. Hey, and Blessing know. wins in on the second round. Blessing takes the position. Blessing takes and owns his position. That's really great to see. That's really good to see. Even though it was not um, so exciting to watch, but at, at least we have a winner. We've got a winner, and uh, Blessing uh, is our winner, Matero, and uh, he's consoling his fighter now. His fighter obviously took a big blow to the head, but he's fine. There you go. You know, just as I was mentioning, Blessing had all the capacity to win this match, but he's only dancing in the ring. He only needed a good combination, body face, and he's done. And he did that right at the last moment, and he won the match. Uh, well done, Blessing. Well done, well done, well done. But what to expect from uh, the next, uh, next match? You know, what are we getting? We want something that is going to cheer up us a bit more. <laughs> you know, boxing, I'm always cheering up. Whether it's not a good fight or a great fight, uh, it's in my blood. It's in my blood. I will die with it in my blood. Yeah, yeah, that's and, really uh, good. As long as boxing, we've got a good crowd here this evening. They've enjoyed themselves out. And some good fights and some lesser. In fact, I only recall this one being one of the lesser ones. But other than that, it's been a great show by Maxine. Yeah, at Hope Street in Cape Town. And uh, all, 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 all goodness to, to Elaine. And uh, I'm watching him now. He's uh, got his hands on his head. But uh, great show, Elaine. Great show. Really powerful. Really good to watch. This is uh, Maxim Boxing Promotion here in Cape Town. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. 
And your winner in one minute, eight seconds into round two by knockout is Blessing Mutero. Wow, big win over there by Blessing Tero over Jason Rockman. Looking wow, very, very strong. This is Maxim him. Boxing Promotions and the promoter Mr. Allen Chizungu. And this tournament is sanctioned by Boxing South Africa under the supervision of Mr. Mzoli Tempi. And we are ready for the next bout. This next bout is a four round. It's in the bantamweight division. Let's call the boxers. Fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Loyiso Lutango. And his opponent, he will be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome Aseko Nortele! This bout is a four-round bantamweight division. Introducing the officials for this bout, our judges is Mr. Kolisani Nkintamo, Mr. Oscar Knowles, Mr. Frederick van der Ross, and your timekeeper is Mr. Rob Fenius, and your referee is Mrs. Rachel Kamko. Introducing the boxers, Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing a green and white trunks, he weighed in 53.60 kilograms, making his first fight as a pro tonight, fighting out of Mosul Bay in the Western Cape. Let's give him a warm welcome. He is Loyuso Lutango. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red and white trunks. He weighed in 52.30 kilograms, making his first fight as a pro tonight. Let's give him a warm welcome. He is Asako Nodele! 
Boxers. Exciting four round bantamweight action underway. Aseko Notrele versus Luiso Lotango. Both guys Seconds looking out. as if the fire is in their eyes. We're drawing towards more closer. We're drawing closer towards the main bout with more exciting fights underway. When Bantamweight fights, you can always expect a lot of punches, high velocity, high punches. It is Aseko in the red corner and Loiso in the blue corner. Loiso starting out with a big, big left hook. Aseko countering with a jab. Aseko's actually had a very, very interesting amateur career. So, expecting to see big things from the boy, especially... Oh, and Aseko with a big left hook as we're talking over there. Both boys still, still seem to be a bit nervous at this stage. Ooh! Big shot there by Aseko. As Loiso takes a count over there. Aseko looking to make this an early night. Got big success over there with the left hook. Loiso just needs to stay alert right now. He took a big shot. Hit the canvas. Still seems a bit un still seems like he hasn't got his legs from under him yet. Aseko still seems to be pushing for the knockout. And Loiso looking to get stuck into the exchange right now, but I think the best option for him is to be working off from that jab. Uh, as Aseko has lots of success on along the inside. Aseko dropping him earlier on with that left hook. It's hard to believe this is still the first round. There's been many punches thrown so far. But it's really good the way Aseko actually is fighting. Really, really like the style. First pro fight, first round pro, pro fight. I don't think you can ask any better. What do you think about um, uh, uh, Lo Loiso? What is uh, what is making him not to get to where he wants to? I think Loiso's corner needs to be advising him right now to get back to the game plan and to start working off from the jab. Not to get stuck in the tussle of the fight with Aseko because Aseko seems to be winning on the inside. So I'd advise him to keep the a bit of and work off from the jab. Let's see if he's able to do that in the second round. Fantastic. Let's look at what the second round can uh, bring round to us. Loiso now needs to start working off from the jab. Establish himself. He's, he still seems to be a bit the slower boxer between the two. So I think he needs to work on a bit of his timing. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? What is yeah, going on? 
That seems that uh, Loi. I think the decision will be ref stops contest due to injury. Wow. Aseko just won this right on the second round. Right at the beginning of the second round. I and Aseko so. made it. just couldn't keep up with the pressure Aseko was going to bring to him because it was very, very early into the first round. Wow, 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 wow. Round. But it was a great match to watch, basically. Both fighters were good. They showed uh, that they wanted it, but unfortunately, um, Aseko made it to the, to the last minutes. Yeah, I think Aseko steamrolled over his opponent. It wasn't a very well matched fight. It's always hard to set up uh, the first pro fight because you haven't seen the guys and what they're able to produce yet. Yes, so, yes. Aseko showing his destiny for the top 10, whereas with Luiso, we might want to see uh, him come back to the drawing board and get to his second fight with a clear win. Wow, that's really incredible. This is a Western Cape uh, Championship brought to you by Maxim Boxing Promotion led by the promoter Coach Alan Chisungu here in Cape Town. It always boils down to who wants it more at the end of the day and it looked like Aseko was a guy that had the hunger in his stomach that really wanted to win this evening. Yes, he really wanted to win this and he made it. He fought to the last minute, and he made it. As much as as much of a physical thing as fighting is, we tend to forget how mentally draining it is. Ladies and gentlemen, so let's the give both of boxers of that a big round, round of applause. What he was able to do was more beat his opponent in the mental aspect rather than the physical aspect. Didn't seem to be the shots that was doing damage to his opponent in the second let's round, which led to the end of the fight. This way. It seemed to be more. Okay, let's see. This box has a big round of applause. What a fight. I told you, I said don't blink. I said don't blink. We've got one more fight for the Western Cape title coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner in round two, 24 seconds by TKO is Aseko Notele. All right, again. we're going to take a 10-minute break, and then when we're back is the Western Cape title. Once again, well-deserved victory over there by An Aseko Ngotele uh, against Loiso Lotango. So now we're going to 10 minutes break. Do not get away. Do not leave your seats. You're watching us uh, live. We are coming back in 10 minutes with more attraction. In the last three fights of the night, there's more to be expected. This is uh, um, Western Cape Championship brought to you by Maxim Boxing Promotion led by the promoter Alan Chizungu here in Cape Town. Still uh, one fight underway before the main event. The main event being Jamie Webb versus Api Webb Moyoyo for the Western Cape title. Uh, Jamie was supposed to fight Api Webb previously. Uh, I think Api Webb pulled out nine days before the time, so Jamie would have lots of vengeance and he would be ready for this fight this time around. Seeing as his opponent pulled out.
Can we come back for the last fight of the evening? For the Western Cape title on the line. This next bout is over 10 rounds. It's, it's for the Western Cape Junior Middleweight title. Sanctioned by Boxing South Africa. Under the supervision of Mr. Mzoli Tempi. I am going to call the boxers. Where is our ring girl? Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for this beautiful belt that you're seeing here. So the winner will take this belt. Let's call the boxers. Fighting out of the blue corner. Let's welcome Slow Poison, a pure Mio. And his opponent, he'll be fighting out of the red corner. Let's welcome the weapons, Jamie And ladies and gentlemen, before we start this bout, I would like to call the promoter, Mr. Alan Chizungu, to come into the ring, please. And also on our midst, we also got the actor that I need to call into the ring. You'll see a famous face. Let's welcome Mahung. Um, 
Mohang Muhepo. Yeah. You see the famous face? He's an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. Thank you for the big support. Thank you, put the hand together for yourself for the support, please. Please, 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 please. Look here. I did not do this event myself. We had a lot of challenge. First, I would like to apologize for starting late. And I'm going to call the people I work with in this event. I would like to call Samantha, Samantha, thousand. Samantha. Huh? Samantha. Please put the hand together for this lady. She works so hard. She works so hard for this event. Also, we want to thank Digital Express for the pre be beautiful posters. And we want to also thank BSA, Boxing South Africa. Mr. Mzoli and his team, thank you so much for the support. And we're going to thank my, 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 my team of doctors. who You do a good job. Thank you. And I'm going to thank Ayub, Mr. Ayub. Thank you so much for the big support you did today. And the hotel who support us, who support all the boxers from PE, Dolphin Hotel Beach, in Blueback. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. And all our friends from PE, thank you. I think you've got it. You see the good experience. I told you. Maxim is number one. I told you, we do the real boxing. I think you see the truth. We've got another one in July. Get ready, you're gonna see more. Let's see the proper fight now. Thank you. Nice, let's give him a big round of applause. Promoter, Mr. Alan Chizungu. Now for this bout, it is for the Western Cape title, over 10 rounds. Now here's the thing. If Mioyo wins this fight, he won't have the title, it will remain vacant because he couldn't wake the weight. And then Jimmy Webb, if he takes this fight, then he will be a crowned a new champion. So we've got a fight in our hands. Right. Are you guys ready for this? It's boxing time! Introducing the officials for this bout. Our judges, Mr. Clifford Mbelu, Mr. Sipo Ndongeni, Mr. Errol Marshall, and your timekeeper, Mr. Rob Fenius. And your referee is none other than Mr. Dion Duarte. Introducing the boxers, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks, he weighed in 71.65 kilograms, with a fight record of 8 wins, 6 losses, 8 by the way of knockouts. Let's give him a warm welcome. He is known as the slow poison. He is a and his opponent fighting out of the red corner wearing red trunks he weighed in 69.85 kilograms with a fight record of six wins three losses three by the way of knockout he is known as the Weapons. He is Sammy Webb! Boxers.
big fight underway. Jamie Weapons Web versus Apiwe Moyoyo. Apiwe overweight for this one. But they're still having the fight nonetheless. They're fighting for the title. Dion Duarte bringing them to the center to touch gloves properly. Dion Duarte also very, very, very experienced. Uh, boxing USA referee of 2022. Number one. Boxing referee 2022 of the year. So this should be a walk in the park for him to officiate. Jamie opening up with the ch Well, from what I see, I don't think it is going to the third round. So this is the Western Cape title fight. Moyoyo is down after a body shot. Yeah, yeah. The yard. He's wobbling. And this is going to be... To get his legs from underneath him. This is going to be easily won for Jamie. But let's see what Apiwe, Apiwe can bring to the table. Apiwe the storm right now, especially if he wants to make it. Oh, Apiwe taking a big right hand over there. And that is it. And that is it. That is it. Jamie Weapons went for the VP title. And that is it. Jamie Weapons went for the VP title. He was ready for it. First round knockout. This is what dreams come to. This is, you know, really quick, really great, really powerful. And just like that, it's over. Jamie is now the Western Cape title champion. Wow. Really great for Jamie Webb. It was so easy for him to win this title. Maybe next time they should put in some uh, a proper adversary for, you know, such kind of a title, you know. I think Jamie just was very angry for it. He was supposed to face Apiwe once before. Apiwe attacked him once before. There's a sport of boxing. You cannot run, you cannot hide for someone that has to beat you. So they were supposed to face each other and they say, when two champions meet, one has to fall. So Apiwe being the one that fell for the night, Jamie being the victor for the night. And that is all she wrote. Wow. Yes, definitely, wow. definitely, wow. definitely. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give both boxers a big round of applause. Yes. 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 Can the Ed uh, uh, come to the ring?
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by TKO and the new Western Cape champion, Sammy the Wapon. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Drive safe home. And thank you for making the loudest noise. Give yourself a big round of applause and have a great weekend. Thank you. You are so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Anything you want to say? I want to say thank you to... Anything you want to say? Um, I don't have much to say. I just want to say thank you to everyone that came out to support today. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my supporters, my team. We work here and night for this. I want to say thank you to everyone who came and supported me. I wish you well. Um, this is just another chapter in my book. The story continues. Let's give him a big round of applause. He is the Western Cape champion. Jimmy, the weapon! Win! Wow, and for all those that are watching on YouTube, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed boxing. We're signing off from Cape Town. Thank you. Goodbye.